Hey, hey, welcome back. Today we are assembling and going to try out the remote hose kit. This is from AgriFab. Get your big hose in Ooh. and your tip, just the tip. Look up for your, uh, and look at that, the handle. I thought maybe I would fabricate something like this on my own, but it was a lot easier just to buy it. Let's throw it together. Got our hardware kit, nuts and washers and whatnot. Always nice to keep these little uh, half boxes that the Arnold Palmer comes in. Instructions, give me a moment, I'll go over the instructions and then we'll get this thing together. Okay, to start off, Grab your metal handle. You've got the grip that comes with the hardware kit that allegedly just slides on there. Ta-da! Step two here is going to be fastening the handle onto the nozzle. Uh, we've got a 5 8 bolt here in length. Slip that guy down in there. On these you use the locking nut. Next one you got an inch and a half. You add this, they've got a curved washer. Put that on your fella like that there. That goes in that second hole through the thicker part of the handle. Nylock, put that on there, go to work, and tighten that guy down. Next step, you wrestle this ungainly hose around for a bit. Your handle, work it on there a few inches just for good luck, and snug it down this is a 516 Next step. They want you to, this is the standard adapter. Peller and motor are here. And this is the adapter that bolts onto that guy. We'll see that shortly, but they want you to take the five inch hose, slip it inside the adapter, about an inch and three quarters, make sure don't see a rib through the hole. Take your drill, put in a quarter inch drill bit, zip a hole in this guy, and then bolt it together. Got a fairly large fender washer. Take it from the inside here, work it out, bolt that one up, and then drill the other four. I'll snug this down lightly, and then drill the rest of the holes. And we'll work our way around this guy, fender washer, bolt from the inside, adding a washer from the shop here, and then upgrading to a nylock. We'll get this all assembled, tightened down, and then we'll go see how it works, sucking up a pile of leaves. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside here, on the outside of the adapter. Screw down with the nylock. And then here is the tip. Uh, there's that kind of curved washer with the uh, inch and a half. There's the five eighths and on the inside with the nylocks tightened down. Here we are out back on a drab November day. Here is our Agrifab sucking mow and back and such. There's uh, there's the impeller on the motor. That's where we hook this guy up. So you've got three basically wing nuts that come off this guy here. You've got the safety switch here. You've got to line up your correct tab with that guy because I'm sure it's someone, some point, somebody ran an appendage or a cat or a involved some sort of weird hazing. 
you just uh, get it in place like that. Get your little tab down there. Hopefully that's showing up. Whoop. Tighten these guys down. We've got a pile of leaves here that we're going to try and suck up. So everything is cold as can be. Makes this hose kind of rigid and unhappy with me. So we'll loosen our way too long hose clamp. Position the handle in a manner that is more conducive with being upright. Tighten this bad boy back down. And then we'll start this sucker up. Okay, we're up and running. Let's do some sucking. better if it wasn't frozen together in clumps with sticks in it. Uh, the cold air makes the hose a little bit stiff and it could be that it's brand new too. Another thing I would recommend is cut off that extra tang from that. Uh, overall it's a very nice accessory for your uh, leaf vac see myself using it quite a lot in the future. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, follow, all that YouTube-y tube stuff. Talk to you next time.